for you to be able to determine whether your arguments, your statements are valid or invalid. Okay? And that, uh, we can say that the arguments or the premises are valid or invalid using the, the two uh, methods of proving or reasoning. Okay? And that is using the inductive and uh, deductive reasoning. Okay? So inductive reasoning is the procedure of accomplishing a general assumption by examining specific instances. So, ang inductive reasoning di ay is from specific to general. Okay? So, you have or you are going to study the specific statements or specific scenarios or examples for you to be able to construct a general rule or general statement for that. Okay? So, example. By the way, our assumption is called the conjecture. Okay? And this conjecture may be true or false. Para sa, sa ato gikuan ganiha. It could be true or false depending on your statements na imo produce. For as long as wala kay violate ng mga rule, then your assumptions or your, your conjectures are could be true. Okay? But, again, you have to be very careful in using inductive reasoning. Later on, you will know why. Examples of inductive reasoning. Kanisha. Every sports car I have ever seen is red. Thus, all sports cars are red. So this first premise or statement you have here, every sports car I have ever seen is specific. Okay? So from specific, you construct a general rule, a conclusion, saying that all sports cars are red. This conjecture may be true, at the same time, it can also be false. Based on your observations, it can be true. But, sa uban, it could be, nga na, nakakita sila o glaing sports cars, nga dili red, like blue or yellow. Diba? So, pwede, mahimong true, pwede siya mahimong false. Okay? Number two, the coin I drew from the bag is a 5 peso coin. Another 5 peso coin is drawn from the bag. A third coin from the bag is again a 5 peso coin. So from these three statements, three examples, three specific scenarios that you have experienced, from there, that is your basis nga nakakreate ka og argument or conclusion nga nakaingon ka nga tanang coins nga naa sa imo bag are all 5 peso coins. It could be true. It could be false. Okay? Kaya kung naalang usa diha ang masagol, nga dili 5, dili 5 peso coin, then that will make your argument invalid. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So you have yes, to make sir. sure. No, you have to make sure. At ang kalata na lang sa ito. No? So, kaysa 100 coins na ay 99 nga 5 peso coin na ay usadiha nga piso, then that will make your argument invalid. Kaya niingon man ka nga all coins in my bag are all 5 peso coin, which is false. Kaya nakakita ka usa ka piso. Okay? Number three. Observe the series. Okay? 1 plus 1 equals 2, three, uh, 1 plus 3 equals 4, and so on. Okay? Know that 1 here is odd number, 1 and 3 are odd numbers, 3 and 5 are odd, odd numbers, 7 and 11 are also odd numbers. If you are going to add 2 odd numbers, so odd plus odd number, this will thou this will give you daw even number. Okay? So, mo na ang iyag state diha ang conclusion. Thus, the sum of two odd integers is always even, which is true all the time. Okay? So, you can have 7 plus 17. This is 24. And 24 is an even integer. Okay? Careful lang ta, sa ako pagkikayong ganiha, as what I have mentioned a while ago, that you have to be very careful in using inductive reasoning, though this is the easier one to use to prove. 
So uh, between the two, this is easier compared to the deductive reasoning. But ang problema lang ani, ang disadvantage lang ani, it will not give you a guarantee or it will not guarantee you, it will not give you an assurance to arrive to a valid argument. Okay? It will not give you assurance or guarantee that your conclusion is correct. Okay? Maulang na siya ang disadvantage sa inductive reasoning. Though it is easier, okay, pero muna ang iya problema. If we can find one case for which a statement is false, then your argument is invalid. Right? So kung gusto ka, sa kapag yung ganun nga, sa'yo ni siya, Yes, but walay assurance. It could be makakakonstruct ka o premise or makakonstruct ka conclusion nga pwede true, pwede false. Walay kasiguraduan. Pero kung gusto ka o sure nga answer, then you can use the deductive reasoning. Pero lisod-lisod lang ni siya. Let's say for example, tagaan ka o series diha or sequences. Okay, tapos mag-create ka o formula for that. This is for example, A plus 2. Ah, okay, the pattern is following a formula A plus 2 or A squared plus 2. Okay, so yung ana. No? So, kung ang inductive is specific to general, ang deductive naman is? General to specific. General to specific. Okay? So, general to specific. Okay, so this is general to a specific. All right, so deductive reasoning is a process of concluding by applying general assumptions or procedures or principles, usually using definitions, axioms, theorems, rules, inference, and even properties. No, properties of a triangle, properties of a square. So it's very important that you know the basic properties or the basic rule or theorems in mathematics. Okay, most most cases usually mo na ang ato gamiton. So mo na ato gamiton para makaprove ta og argument. Okay, example. All men are mortal. Raymond is a man, therefore Raymond is mortal. So you are given with a general statement, a universal statement, then you give a specific example. And then you give a conclusion. Okay? Number two, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So this is a theorem or a property of congruent triangles. So you make two examples, two scenarios given triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F. They are congruent. Okay? Triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F are congruent. Therefore, Si angle B o si angle E are corresponding angles. So you can conclude that angle B is congruent to your angle E. Why? Because of the rule that, that says corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay? So pwede ka mag-add ana that uh, angle A is corresponding to angle D. So angle A is congruent to angle D. Pwede po ka maingon nga line segment AB is corresponding to your line segment DE. Therefore, line segment AB is congruent to your line segment DE. That's deductive reasoning. Example, maingon ta nga uh, all viscans all viscans are smart. Okay? Jane is a viscan. Therefore, so man, therefore, Jane, 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 Jane is smart. Is smart. smart. Very good. Okay. Oh, di ba? Lami kayo kung agi, doctor. Resita ni siya sa inyo tambal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, another ah, uh, Maingon ko nga, all, ay, saan ko dapit? All 
uh, agribusiness man mo, no? Kasagari ani nga class. Yes, yes, okay. okay. All yes, BSAB students are beautiful. Charot. <laughs> Tapos, uh, Jessica okay. is... Jessica, oo. Oh, oh. Jessica, wow, Jessica is a freshman, freshman BSAB student. Okay? Therefore, oh, therefore, Jessica is beautiful. Oh. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. Sana all. Beautiful. Same takagi, sir. Oh, same tag <laughs> Ano na ako ang iba sa magdali, pero hindi siya kong agi class, actually. Charot. <laughs> Sige, give me another example of deductive reasoning daw, be. Sige. Sige, unsa ka nang maingon ta nga, Anang common nga generalize sa society karon. ron. Kasi for example, maingon sila nga uh, men are more intelligent than women. Like that. Di ba? Na may mga stereotyping nga ng mga mas bright daw ang lalaki kaysa babae. No? So, pwede, pwede tamo anak, no? So, pwede tamo yun nga, oh, uh, men are more intelligent but this is not true in all cases ha mao lang ako lang siya gi-base kung unsa ang gi-generalize no or unsa ang kasagaran nga stereotype no more intelligent than women tapos uh, Michael J oh Michael J Michael J is a man Then Jessica is a woman. Therefore, Sakaha Michael J. Michael J. Is smarter or more intelligent than Jessica. Than Jessica. Musagot ka, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> so, yung ana, no? So, gitagaan ka o general statement or universal statement, then mag-provide ka o mga specific statements or examples or scenarios. So, that's deductive reasoning. Okay? Sige, 